What does the future hold for our children? What will their hearts be filled with? These are questions that resonate deeply within us, especially in the present times. Today, let's delve into a battle that's taking place, a battle for our children's hearts. Picture this, a tale from the Book of Revelation. A woman, a child, and a great red dragon. This dragon, poised and ready, waiting to devour the child the moment it's born. This vivid imagery from Revelation 12, 4 is not just a tale, but a metaphor for the constant onslaught our children face from the forces of evil from the very moment they open their eyes to this world. But how does this battle unfold? How does the devil seek to steal our children's future? One of the craftiest strategies employed is through the seemingly innocent world of media. Movies, music, storybooks, and yes, even the beloved bedtime stories. These forms of entertainment, while appearing harmless, often carry hidden messages that can mold our children's hearts and minds. Consider children's movies with their colorful animations and catchy songs. They may seem innocuous, but a closer look often reveals themes that are contrary to the kingdom of God. Materialism, selfishness, moral relativism, these are subtly woven into the storylines, sowing the seeds of worldliness in the fertile minds of our children. Similarly, music with its powerful melodies and lyrics can either draw our children closer to God or lead them astray. We need to be vigilant, ensuring that the songs that fill their ears and hearts are in alignment with the truth of Scripture. Even storybooks and bedtime stories filled with tales of adventure and fantasy can contain messages that clash with the values we hold dear as followers of Christ. We must be selective in the literature we introduce to our children, choosing stories that mirror biblical principles and virtues. The battle we're in is not an easy one. Proverbs 22. 6 reminds us to train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. We have a responsibility to guard our children's hearts and guide them towards the path of righteousness. This is the battle we are facing, a battle for our children's hearts. And with God's guidance and grace, we can and will prevail. The devil has a strategy, a cunning plan designed to subtly influence our children. It's a scheme that's been in the works for centuries, and it's more pervasive than you might think. Picture this. A child, eyes glued to a screen, engrossed in the latest animated film. Or perhaps a teenager, earphones plugged in, moving to the rhythm of the latest hit song. Or maybe a toddler, snuggled up in bed, listening to a bedtime story. These are everyday scenes, aren't they? But beneath the surface, a battle is being waged. A battle for the hearts and minds of our children. You see, the devil has a knack for taking the ordinary and twisting it into something harmful. And one of his most potent weapons is the media. Movies, music and storybooks, to name a few. Movies, for instance, are a powerful tool for shaping worldviews. While they may appear harmless on the surface, many films marketed towards children subtly promote values that contradict the teachings of the Bible. Materialism, selfishness, moral relativism. These are themes often woven into the narratives, slowly but surely influencing young, impressionable minds. Music, too, can be a double-edged sword. The melodies and lyrics that fill our children's ears can either draw them closer to God or lead them astray. We must be discerning about the songs that resonate in their hearts, ensuring they align with the truth of the gospel. And let's not forget about storybooks and bedtime stories. These seemingly innocuous tales can carry underlying messages that conflict with our Christian values. We must be vigilant in selecting literature for our children, choosing stories that reflect biblical principles and virtues. These are the subtle influences we need to guard against. The devil may be cunning, but with God's wisdom and discernment, we can protect our children from his deceptive tactics. So let's be intentional about the media we expose our children to. Let's equip them with the truth of God's word, and let's raise a generation that is rooted in faith and committed to serving the Lord. Movies and music have a powerful influence on our children's hearts. Let's take a moment to consider the world of cinema. The silver screen has a way of captivating audiences, transporting us into different worlds, and it's no different for our children. Yet, beneath the dazzling animation and catchy songs, there's often a deeper narrative at play. 
Themes of materialism, self-centeredness and moral ambiguity are subtly woven into the plot lines. These messages, though discreet, can plant seeds of worldly values in the young, impressionable minds of our children. Music, too, is an influential force. It's a universal language that can stir our emotions, inspire our thoughts and shape our perceptions. The tunes our children hum, the lyrics they sing, can either uplift their spirits or lead them astray. The devil, being the cunning adversary that he is, often uses catchy melodies and relatable lyrics to subtly introduce harmful ideologies. As guardians of our children's hearts, we must be discerning about the music that fills their ears. But it's not all doom and gloom. Just as movies and music can be used for harm, they can also be tools for good. Films that promote kindness, courage and integrity can inspire our children to embody these virtues. Likewise, songs that celebrate love, faith and hope can instill these values in our children's hearts. This, however, requires us to be proactive and intentional. We must sift through the vast array of media content available to our children, separating the wheat from the chaff. We must guide them towards films and music that align with our Christian values, that inspire them to walk in the light of God's love. Our children's hearts are shaped by what they see and hear. As such, we must ensure that what they see on the screen and what they hear in their music promotes the kingdom of God, not the kingdom of this world. Let's use the power of movies and music to guide our children towards the path of righteousness and away from the grasp of the enemy. Even the stories we tell our children can shape their hearts. Picture this, a quiet evening, a cozy bed and a storybook in hand. It's a scene brimming with warmth and tenderness, a beloved bedtime ritual for countless families. Yet within the pages of these storybooks lie messages that can subtly mold the minds and hearts of our children. Storybooks and bedtime stories, while seemingly harmless, can harbor narratives that conflict with Christian values. These narratives often take the form of enchanting tales of adventure and fantasy, cleverly disguising the values they subtly impart. They may promote ideas of self-centeredness, disobedience, or even a disregard for authority, all under the guise of a captivating plot. In choosing the literature our children are exposed to, we must bear in mind the power of these stories. They're not merely tales to lull our little ones to sleep. They're powerful tools that can shape their understanding of the world, their beliefs, and ultimately their hearts. To guard our children's hearts, we must be discerning in our selection of storybooks and bedtime stories. We must seek out stories that echo the teachings of the Bible, stories that promote love, kindness, honesty, and respect, stories that depict the triumph of good over evil, that teach in a language children can understand the importance of faith, hope, and love. But it's not just about choosing the right stories, it's also about how we tell these stories. The tone we use, the emphasis we place on certain parts of the story, even the discussions we have after the story ends, all play a crucial role in shaping our children's interpretation of these tales. The stories we tell our children can either point them towards God or lead them astray. Let's use these bedtime moments not just to entertain, but to educate, to instill in our children a love for God and His Word. Let's fill their hearts with stories of faith, courage and sacrificial love. Stories that will guide them on their journey of faith and point them towards the ultimate hero, Jesus Christ. We have a responsibility to guard our children's hearts. This is a truth we cannot ignore. It's not enough to simply shield our children from harmful influences. We must also actively engage them with content that inspires a love for Jesus and his teachings. Imagine a world where our children eagerly anticipate stories of faith, courage, and sacrificial love. Stories that point them towards the ultimate hero, Jesus Christ. This responsibility transcends the walls of our homes. It extends to the schools they attend, the friends they make, and the media they consume. Every aspect of their lives is an opportunity for us to sow seeds of godliness, to instill in them a love for truth, and to nurture their hearts towards a deep, personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Our role as parents and guardians is not just to protect, but to guide. We are their compass, steering them through the turbulent seas of life towards the safe harbour of God's love and truth. We are their lighthouse, illuminating their path with the light of God's word, 
helping them navigate through the darkness of this world. We can start by being more intentional about the media they consume, movies, music, storybooks. Let's scrutinize these forms of entertainment, discerning the subtle messages that they carry. Let's replace the harmful with the wholesome, the worldly with the godly, the deceitful with the truthful. Let's fill their minds with the beauty of God's word, teaching them to love and live out his commandments. Let's also foster open and honest conversations with our children, encouraging them to share their thoughts, doubts and questions. Let's listen to them with love and patience, answering their queries with wisdom and grace. Let's be their safe space, their source of comfort and guidance. The task may seem daunting, but remember, we are not alone in this battle. God himself has promised to guide us, to give us wisdom and strength. He is our ultimate ally, our source of help and hope. Remember, we are not just raising children. We are nurturing the future leaders, influencers, change makers of the world. We are shaping the hearts that will shape the future. Together, we can reclaim the future of our children and raise a generation that is deeply rooted in faith and devoted to serving the Lord. With God's help, we can do this. Let's start today. Let's make a difference for the sake of our children, for the future, for his glory. Let us pray. Let us not be found wanting at the end. Heavenly Father, in your infinite mercy and boundless love, we come before you, humbly seeking your grace and protection. As we reflect upon the solemnity of your wrath and the consequences of our disobedience, we acknowledge our frailty and our propensity to fall short of your will for us. Lord, forgive us for our transgressions, for the times when we have strayed from your path and pursued our own desires. Grant us the wisdom to recognize the gravity of our actions and the humility to repent and turn back to you. We pray, O God, that you would shield us from your wrath, that you would spare us from the consequences of our sins. Though we are unworthy, we cling to your promise of forgiveness and redemption. May your mercy surround us like a protective shield, guarding us from harm and guiding us along the paths of righteousness. Even in our moments of weakness and failure, Lord, uphold us with your steadfast love. Remind us that your grace is sufficient for us, that your strength is made perfect in our weakness. Help us to surrender our will to yours, trusting in your goodness and your faithfulness to see us through. May your Holy Spirit dwell within us, empowering us to live lives that are pleasing to you. May we walk in obedience to your commandments, bearing fruit that glorifies your name. And when we stumble, when we falter along the journey of faith, may your hand be there to lift us up, to guide us back, onto the path of righteousness. For we know that nothing can separate us from your love, neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither our fears for today nor our worries about tomorrow. In your mercy, O God, hear our prayer, protect us from your wrath and lead us in your everlasting ways. Amen.